23 ABC's digital update is brought to you by West Medical. Good evening, I'm Jessica Harrington. And I'm Tim Callahan. Here's what's making news around Kern County. A vegetation fire sparked just north of Lost Hills. Thursday afternoon, following a crash on I-5 near Highway 46, Kern County fire officials saying the call of a collision came in just before 5 tonight. Crews made their way there. They found the car was involved in a fire causing a vegetation fire to begin on the east side of the freeway. Fire crews say they were working on progress for that fire, but remain on scene throughout the night until that fire is fully contained. At this time, the fire is at 450 acres with 60% containment. KCFD says there are no injuries or structures threatened as a result of the fire. Tonight, lawmakers have approved new disaster relief funding for school districts affected by the destructive campfire last November. Subcommittees in both the Assembly and Senate approved a provision that ensures school districts that saw drops in attendance would not lose funding for at least three fiscal years. The budget provisions also allow the Paradise Unified School District to submit requests for possible funding relief in the future. Pacific Gas and Electric establishing a $105 million fund to support victims of those recent California wildfires sparked by the company's equipment. A judge overseeing the major utilities bankruptcy giving the company clearance to establish the program this week. According to an Associated Press report, lawyers for the fire victims said the utility company could shell out up to $250 million to help survivors, noting that PG&E has worked the last month to provide $235 million in bonuses to its employees. An attorney for PG&E Company saying, quote, we are willing and anxious to establish the fund. We've been tracking scattered showers and isolated thunderstorms across the county this evening. And actually just a few hours ago, Bakersfield received a downpour, receiving four hundredths of an inch of rain. But it looks like that cell has passed in mostly dry conditions across the county. And that's what you can expect for your Friday with a chance for some very light showers in the mountains tomorrow afternoon. And then we are going to be warming up to 81 degrees by Saturday before our next winter storm moves into the county on Sunday, dipping temperatures down to the upper 60s and then drying out just in time for Memorial Day. And then we will be back to the 80s for next week. And that's your latest news and weather. You can find the top stories anytime at turn to 23.com. Good night.